Guys, I just wanted to quickly talk about a piece of equipment here, the ab wheel. So this is a great tool if you really want to target your abs. It's a good supplement for doing the plank and you can progress with this and make it harder and harder and harder. So I'm going to show you guys a good progressive step and we're going to start by using the BOSU for the ab wheel and I'm going to show you how to do it effectively and safely so that you can get the most out of your abs. So first things first, you're going to take the BOSU and you're going to put your knees down on it just behind the center line. So this is gonna make a new pivot point. So it's usually your knees if you do it on the ground, but if you're using the bow suit, your pivot point is now your thighs. And of course, that's gonna decrease the distance between the pivot point and the load, and it's gonna make it a lot easier. Especially if you're new to this, this is what I recommend to start out. From here, your arms are nice and straight with the wheel in the hands. You're gonna get your body flat and engage your core before you even start, just like you would if you were doing the plank. So you're not slumping down, you're engaged. And that's gonna give you a good start. So that's your base. From here, you're gonna go all the way out, arms straight, head down, and then bring it back in while keeping your hips in this position. So you're all the way out, and in, and you see my hips stay down. So I wasn't bringing my hips back with each rep, which I see a lot of people do. You wanna keep that engagement, keep that tension on the abs at all times. So you're all the way out, and in, and right back out. Just like that. And now, a good progression with this is just to move a little bit further forward on the BOSU with your knees. So that's obviously going to increase the distance between the pivot point and the load, making it harder. The next step is to do it on your knees on the ground. And when you do that, I still suggest putting a pad or something to elevate you off the ground so that your thighs aren't hitting the ground at that point. And from there, once you get better and better and better, doing a lot more reps, you can try doing it on your toes, which is much more challenging. So, Start with the BOSU, work your way forward on the BOSU, and then move to the knees on the ground. And from there, lots of reps, and then try it on the toes.